Well, hey guys, welcome to another virtual Come and Taste It. I'm Connor with Brandon from Llano Estacado out Hello. in the hill country of Texas, one of our favorite wineries around. This one's really special because if you've noticed, this is our wine. It is green wine made from Llano. With that, let's let's kind of jump in. This will be the first time we've both tried it. These two, yep. um, before we kind of get into talking about what makes Yano special with their sweet red can. Okay, I guess we'll uh, pop the cork and I'll do the honors of pouring. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's pour us a couple glasses. Uh, just to clarify, these are 100% Texas wines uh, from the West Texas growing region. So you eat some High Plains fruit, you get some, uh, some fruit sourced from all over the state, but mostly West Texas High Plains that go into both these wines. Well, let's, uh, I'm super eager to try this. Yes. So we kind of talked earlier, this is a very slight blend. Uh, Correct. This is mostly, just tell us what grapes are in this. Yeah, so this is 90% unoaked Chardonnay and 10% Chenin Blanc. So what we do is we take both grapes, like I said, primarily Chardonnay, and we, we remove it from any malolactic fermentation and we put it on neutral oak barrels so there's no influence from the oak for two months and then we do three months in stainless steel. And in the stainless steel vats, it is with the skin. So it has contact with the skins, which will give it some really nice flavor profile and aroma as well as developing, going through the process. But it's aged five months total. So we, we try to give it as little aging as possible to keep it fresh. And that, that keeps the acidity up, that keeps it uh, citrusy and, and real crisp. So it should have a real nice balance. That, that uh, Chenin Blanc will actually kind of smoothen out a rich Chardonnay style grape. So that, that'll bring like a really nice aromatic profile to the wine and kind of mellow it down a little bit. Cool. Well, yeah. Let's, let's check this out. See a little fruit on the nose. Wow, that's just really crisp, really like fruit. Um, super easy to drink. Now that Chenin Blanc, I was expecting to be a little, you know, brighter, sweeter, like we were kind of used to them uh -huh. in Texas, but we kind of talked earlier, the way you guys are kind of utilizing the Chenin Blanc is a little more old world style. Correct, yeah. So it's actually, there's 0 0.02 residual sugar, which means it's bone dry. There's actually no sugar in this wine at all. I mean, there's a drop maybe in the entire vat of right. wine that you would never even know is there unless I told you. Uh, so it is, it drinks dry. Um, the Chardonnay really shows through and there is some really cool stuff going on. I think this wine's gonna keep opening up as we have it in our glass. It might be fun to revisit <laughs> it here in a minute. I'm shocked, this tastes better than our regular Chardonnay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's delightful. Yeah, that's really nice. We're lucky. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a home run. That's super cool. Okay, so I'm just about as excited to try this red now. So this is a bourbon barrel aged Cabernet. Correct, yep. So what we did is we partner with all of our bourbon barrel projects, which we only have four. So this is, this is our fourth project. We do uh, two different bourbon barrel uh, Tempranillos. We do a bourbon barrel mainstream Cabernet, which the fruit is sourced from a different growing region. And then we do this bourbon barrel project with you guys. But Buffalo Trace is our partner. They're one of the biggest uh, bourbon companies in the United States. One of the most famous bourbon companies in the United States. So it was really cool to partner with them. And they, what we do is we trade our wine barrels for their bourbon barrels and they can do projects with our, we, we use port barrels, that's what we give them the port. Oh, wow. So they use port barrels for some of their cool projects and then we'll take their 53 gallon wow. bourbon barrels and we just soak it. So this gets aged for five months in the, uh, the, the bourbon casks. And what you'll see is, and what I, I think we're gonna see, is uh, it should have, the, the bourbon should give it some sort of butterscotch mm. or like a vanilla um, caramelized flavor on what's already known for Cab to be like a dark fruit, like a rich wine. So it should be a full bodied wine. Um, so I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> it looks wonderful. And it's young. So this is a younger wine because it is 2019 fruit. Like I said, this was just bottled so this is fresh um so this wine could be laid down and aged you could actually age this for a year if you wanted to even a couple years and it would just get better and better 
Um, but in the glass, the longer, I'd give it, you know, at 10 to 15 minutes in the glass, I think you'll really start seeing it open up. This wine could be decanted. We have had a lot of success decanting our bourbon barrel wines because you do get higher alcohol with the bourbon as well. So you want to kind of mellow that alcohol down just a little bit. It is fun to get it, yeah. but you want to, it can be a little much at times. So mellowing it down is really nice. So let's go. Let's see what yeah. this is all about. Let's, let's get one of these. Ooh, man, that I'm nose. excited. I just got a little whiff of the nose. I'm kind of expecting it to be like um, the bourbon barrel Tempranillo that we do really, 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 really well with you guys yep. here. Yep. Uh, but I do realize that they're totally different grapes. Correct. But in Texas, we kind of replace, not replace, but Tempranillo's kind of outshine Cabernets in a lot of ways. Yep. So, absolutely, I'm really excited to try your High Plains Cab. <laughs> yeah, the, the Tempranillo in Texas, while we're tasting, it's just FYI. Temp, it doesn't matter where you're getting Tempranillo from. Tempranillo is a is a consistently well developed grape mm -hmm. across the state. So if you're ever curious and you want to try a red wine, you've never tried a red wine in Texas. Highly recommend Tempranillos. Of course, Yano would be my pick. But if it's, if it's not Yano, it's you're, it's a safe play. Yeah. Across the board. So. All right, I'm done talking. I'm yeah, I know, right? Let's just see what's up. Ooh, that fruit really jumps out. That's nice. Super easy to drink. God, you know, I was expecting a little more body. Yep. And it was, and that's not a bad thing, but the fruit really is showcased here. The fruit is very bright. It grabs your tongue a little bit mid palate. That bourbon just, it doesn't hit you. It like sneaks up and gives yeah. you a nice little kiss on the cheek. That's a good way to put it. See, that's like, a good way to put it. So it's not overpowering yeah. the wine. You can actually taste the fruit, which is nice, and you get a little bit of that influence on the back end. Again, like the Chardonnay, I think this will appeal because it, that body on there is a little bit lighter. It almost has, and I hate to say this, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to throw any negativity towards the Cabernet grape, but it almost has a Pinot Noir esque mouth feel where it's yeah. very light, and which is okay because it allows you to really taste all the fruit. Sometimes with a really full bodied wine, when it coats your mouth, that's all you're getting is that really jammy, dark fruit that coats your mouth, which is fun. Those are fun wines. But you can't always taste the fruit all, all the time because you're just your mouth is just kind of lathered. You're just chewing through. Yeah, it. you're chewing yeah. through it. Toward this, it rolls over. It's really elegant. It's got some really nice fruit, and like you said, with that bourbon influence on the back end, it makes it really unique, which is fun. Yeah. So, I really like that. So this, just because this is our first time, and I have to have some. Hold seconds. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is my it. breakfast. I haven't even eaten yet today. So. <laughs> I gotta do something <laughs> to compare it to something I know. <laughs> Versus this, the Tempranillo that we're very experienced with. This just like has a little more of a rigidity, I feel like, on the finish. And uh -huh. I feel like there is a slight, uh, you know, you can tell you're tasting Cabernet. It's got that like cab style, like jumpiness to it yeah. as well. But like yeah. the bourbon really just smooths it out. I it think. smooths it out. Yeah. And I'm telling you, just the nose right now, the, f the smell of this nose is incredible. I mean, I I don't know that of any of our other wines, not even our Tempranillo, where the nose jumps out of the glass like it's jumping out of the glass right now. And I don't know if it's just because it's so fresh and, and younger, but this doesn't smell like a young wine, to be honest with you. Sometimes you get like a green ass yeah. smell to a young red wine. Not at all. The fruit is just popping, which is great. Oh, that's incredible. You know, cabs, I feel like in Texas, tend to have... And now I'm getting more of the bur bourbon. The more I'm yeah. smelling it, now I'm getting a little bit more of the bourbon aroma. Or the alcohol kind of lifts. Yeah, it's it kind of lifting up to the top it. of the glass, yeah. for sure. No, this is an excellent, excellent cab. More on the Texas cherries, like, are... like some cherry flavors, some like dark cherry. Cherry cola, maybe? Cherry cola, yeah, with no sweetness. But on, on with the no flavor. sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any of that in this. So um, this, I'm just going to throw out there, is 15.9% alcohol. So just for people that drink red wines, that is very high, <laughs> and that's <laughs> yeah. that, and that's a swing. So that could actually be sixteen point nine because you can swing one percent. Wow, I didn't up or down on any wine. You have to, you have to basically take an average, and that's the way all wine works. So anytime you're drinking a wine, just, just a fun fact, Mark it could swing beer. actually up or down oh, cool. depending on the bottle of wine that you're drinking. So this could range from fourteen nine to sixteen nine. Wow, technically. That and, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> that's that bourbon influence. So I was just kind of swirling around in my mouth, 
and it was heating up real quick. Yep. That yep. was awesome, by the way, <laughs> to feel that. That's kind of one of the fun things you can do too when you're drinking wine. So, oh my gosh, this wine is so versatile. The fruit flavors, like you said, pop in that dark cherry, cherry cola, plum, like, not even plum, but like dark cherry, I think is more of the, the spot yeah. on flavor profile I'm getting from yes. this. Um, and with that bourbon and no food, with food, with your friends, fun piece on the shelf, whatever you want it to be, man, this wine is delivering right now. Absolutely. I am so pumped for you guys. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm so pumped myself. for you guys. I know uh, I have like several people off the top of my head that I just can't wait to make. <laughs> there you so. go. There you go. All righty. Well, I got to finish this one. Well. I know, right? Well, while we're drinking this, cheers. I'll talk a little bit about one other thing that we have on this table, which is really neat. Um, we have, and we just started doing this literally this year. So at the beginning of this year, we kicked these off. And what it is, it's our canned wine. And as I think everybody knows, canned wine or canned anything has really taken off. You know what? What we thought, we were like, you know, we want to get in on this business. What's smarter for us than to go and grab our number one selling wine? Sweet Red, which you'll see on the bottom down here, and I'm sure most people have seen it somewhere i mean you cannot go anywhere if someone's selling wine in texas and not find our sweet red it is just it's such a popular one but we wanted to put it in a can to make sure the customers were getting the best thing that we make and the most popular thing that we make in something different and as you'll and not, i don't know if anyone knows this but these are three seven fives which is a half bottle of wine some people don't realize that but this little sucker will will give you a nice fun day by itself so when you're drinking these things drink responsibly oh, yes <laughs> but just know that this is a 12 percent wine it is a sweet wine i like to say that it's coca-cola i know you referenced cherry coke but this yeah. is like true coca-cola bittersweet in a can and man if you haven't tried it you got to try it this this wine put us on the map this wine the sweet red is the reason we get to do fun cool projects with you guys and everybody else like these two wines you have here, it allows our winemakers to go out and do all the fun, niche, little, cool, you know, small batch projects. This wine keeps the lights on. Hats off to this little guy because he's making he's, it happen. He's a little giant for us. So. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Well, I gotta crack. Yeah, it let's open. crack it open. It's fun. <laughs> it is a fun wine, and you know, and when it's when it's hot or cold, this is actually this wine uh, is a great wine for Thanksgiving. Mm. It actually goes really well with turkey and a lot of the dressings and stuffings that you'd be surprised. You want a sweeter style wine with those turkey style uh, holiday dinners. So if, for Christmas, if you're going to have turkey or even ham or any of those traditional you know, foods that get served, sweet red is a perfect pairing for your holiday foods and festivities. It really is. And if you're not going to eat it with food, just drink it by itself. Yeah. And I think people that have tried this and haven't tried it in a while forget about it. But it's not this sugar bomb. It's not this overly sweet, like, you know, some people are like, oh, it's just, it's too sweet for me. No, 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 Sweet red, if you like sangria, or if mm -hmm. you like those type of fruity wines with a little bit of sweetness on the back end, that's more what this is to me. It is sweet, but it's not like, it's it's not like a you just dumped a bunch of sugar in a wine. And like you're a going, Moscato. Yeah, it's not. A Moscato is actually a lot sweeter than this, yeah. in my opinion. So is a Riesling. This is more on like a Gewurztraminer or maybe a little lighter on the sweetness levels. Um, but it's it's just it's not. It's it's confusing to some people because they see sweet red. Right. But it's like I said, a bittersweet. That's solid, man. It's so like it's Texas it is sweet tea, right there. It is. It's, that's. <laughs> I'm stealing that. Doesn't that taste like? I'm that? stealing that, by the way. That is it's, that is perfect. It's amazing. <laughs> Texas sweet tea. That's exactly what this Texas is like. I'm so happy for you guys because y'all are the staple in this area where people come for wine. So to get our brand out there with this one is just extra added bonus for us and hopefully for you guys too. Oh, so absolutely, yeah, yeah. There's a reason why we have uh, most of their lineup at the break. <laughs> you guys have almost yeah. all of our wines here. So <laughs> cheers to you guys uh, for that. Well, Brandon, what a pleasure and. What a cool experience to try these for the first time um, with one of the dudes that made it happen. I mean, that's super yeah. Cool. So thank you again uh, for being here. Thank mm -hmm. you for putting this all together, and thank you for supporting us through all this time. I got to say the same to you and to and to y'all as well. Um, I know everyone can't see you guys back here behind the camera, but 
Y'all drew up the labels. You guys are responsible for what you're seeing. We made the wine, you made everything else. So it was a nice, cohesive team project. Honestly, I am so excited to see what this does for you guys. I'm not just saying that because I'm a homer and I'm gonna support my brand. If you took these labels off and brown bagged them and gave them to me, I'd be going, holy cow, this is awesome. Anyway. This is really good. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to do this with you guys. Thank you for Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, man. Well, you want to finish these? Sure, or? why not? I'm not, I'm not gonna throw this away. This is great. I might just, after we're done recording, I might just stay here and help you guys finish the bottle. <laughs>